reshoot the intro, uh, we are going to do some Pathfinder adventures. This is based on a, a real board game or card game that you can go out and buy yourself at your local game shop. Uh, Steam has, I believe, a free-to-play version that is kind of pay-to-win, but since it's solo, like, why would you ever pay? I, I mean, I won't tell you how to enjoy the game, but I, I like not giving people money. Sandpoint. Well, I've been in worse places. On the upside, easy money can often be made in these backwater holes. It is said the ruins of old Thassalon can be found here. Given peace and time, I could learn much. You there. You look equipped and able. I can't get a supply shipment past the waterfront these days. That brigand drew Braille Visky and his thugs are robbing honest folks in the streets. Our incompetent sheriff can't seem to do a thing about it. Assuming you have the coin, happy to do business with you. If I get to bloody my daggers, all the better. I suppose the wonders of Thassalon may wait another day. If a monster's powers causes you to recharge one or more cards, uh, do so. And draw the summer, same number of cards you recharge. Okay. Special, yeah. Just a special condition of this mission. I won't waste too much time reading. I'll give you the general idea once we dive into it. But, let's see. In general, uh, you can all go somewhere together or you can split up. Let's see. I don't have any particularly good charisma checks, so I think this one might be the one we save for last. Uh, the important thing to look here at here is the when closing. Like this one uh, needs an intelligence or arcane check. So yeah, and drop the wizard right there and nowhere else. A dexterity or stealth check. Yeah, you get the thief. Wisdom, you get the cleric. Uh, defeat a random monster, defeat a bandit. There is charisma or diplomacy. When an ally, ally might be... Uh, yeah, the fighter could go to like any of these. He does have diplomacy as a skill. But I think on closing... All characters at this location discard a card. Okay, let's not do that. We'll save these two for last. And we can change the general order. Uh, let's see. I'd like to have the healer go last. I'm having her go first because she might... She does better solo, and so ideally, if I decided where she went, he's probably solo at the start of her turn. But if he, say, cleared his area and then went to her area, she would no longer be solo. I mean, I'm in control of everything, but, like, sometimes I forget. Cool. Yeah, and so here we are in the main portion of the card game. Uh, some characters have actions like before you explore. In this case, uh, I explore, I find a friend, and if I can pass, pass the check, I can get her. I can recharge this card, uh, which means put it back in my deck to add another dice to my charisma check or I could throw this potion away to automatically pass 
uh, your deck size is basically your hit points. Let's see. Um, sometimes you can do things to explore again, and you almost always should. Uh, I don't have that option. But, yeah, I got an Acolyte. So that Acolyte is mine forever, for the rest of the game and every subsequent game. And you'll see a little more about that later, but... Bandit showed up. Uh, before you act, recharge a code. Hold, uh, a card. Yeah, I guess short swords are fairly weak. So I just need to fight him. Let's see. I can throw, discard this card. And uh, do a lot of damage. Yeah, like 99% chance of success. The fighter's good at fighting. Uh, and his special ability is you can recharge your weapons when you discard them. Uh, yeah, things are going well. Okay, so a bunch of things just happened there. I probably should have walked through them all. Uh, let's see. After I defeated the henchman, since he was like a minion of the boss that I'm trying to hunt down, uh, I can try and close the location, which is summon and defeat a random monster. I was like, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I got a traitor. If I had an ally, he would have made me discard him. Uh, I didn't have an ally, so I just tried to fight him. And I had a good chance, because I'm a fighter, and I had a weapon. Uh, I bait, I forget what I rolled, but it seemed like a 1. And now I've got hit, which means I have to discard cards in the, in, for the difference in damage. But, I have armor and I can recharge those to lower damage and so I'm not really taking damage and with my fighter ability I can recharge this weapon I don't take any damage so I'm all right but this location didn't get closed I uh, now this location is just plain awful like I can keep fighting my way through it but since there's no henchmen I have no opportunity to close it early so I might move my fighter to a different location all right wizard here uh, the Academy is always really good if the force first exploration of your turn if you encounter anything other than a spell after exploration, you may immediately explore again. So if this is a spell, it is. Oh. Well, I want Holy Light so that I can give it to them later. And that is a thing I can do. Get the Sage in here. And I will discard the Codex to also help me get it. And maybe I can recharge this spell. Or the book. Nope. It's discarded. Uh, explore again? But I did get a spell. What is this explore again? Must be his special ability. Caltrops. I don't any have anything to help me get it. And they're not that great either. So I fail the roll, it goes away. And you know what? I'm not even that broken up about it. The healer does not have any heal spells, so I'm not going to worry. A pit trap. These are barriers. Uh, I can pass a wisdom perception roll. Uh, I will cast Guidance on myself. That gives me a plus one. 
I also have a lot of blessings. So blessings you can use to add another dice to your check. I'm going to use one. And I failed still. Okay. All right. When you cast a spell that you are proficient in, you can use like your character's divine or arcane check to put it back in your your deck. So like this one has like a really small check to acquire. And so it's really easy for me to get it back. Oof. Yeah. This isn't great. So she got hit pretty hard. But the good news is she's a healer. And yeah, I didn't draw a heal spell, but... I'm not too worried about her alone. Magic leather armor. Yeah. I hope I get it. That seems like a good thing for a thief. Okay. I can't have more than my max hand size, so hand size, so I discard a card. Ooh. I can recharge this one. And then everything else is optional. I guess I reduced co uh, combat damage dealt to me, but none's being dealt to me. Alright. We're back to the fighter. Who killed the bad guys at that location. So it's not beneficial for me to stay there. So we'll go here and fight here instead. Oh! It's the boss. He's, he's the main villain. He's who you're trying to defeat. I can tell you're new here. Oh, so I'll give you a piece of advice for free. Get out. Leave Sandpoint behind you and no one will get hurt. I'll make this offer once. Sorry, friend. I've got a job to do and a bounty to collect. All right. Temporarily closing locations. Uh, basically, after I fight him, he's going to run away. I can close these locations that my other characters are at so he can't run to them. What that means is... Uh, well... If the wolves were the only locations left, then I could keep him from... Well, keep him from escaping and actually win the game. Like, closing locations is basically how you win. Uh, but since I can't close all the locations, I'm not going to bother attempting to close any. Oh, I'm so glad he's making me recharge things. Recharge this, recharge this, and hopefully I get a weapon. I did not get a weapon. Uh, so I'm going to punch him with my bare hands. Yeah. And it worked. So he runs away. He went to one of those other locations. And since I beat the villain, this location closes automatically. On closing all characters at this location, discard a card. Um, yeah, I don't really need you. Oof. Uh, collapse ceiling. If I fail... If undefeated, leave this barrier face up here. Alright, standard bearer... Might be able to help me here? Barely. One thing you can do is you can 
use blessings in other players decks to help you pass a check and I still failed so bad all right so he's pretty much stuck there Ooh, what's this heal Instead of your first exploration on a turn, you may reveal a card that has a divine trait and heal someone at this location. Yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. I'm going to use the holy water to heal myself. That shuffles four cards in my discard back in. And I feel much better. But that was my only exploration. So I didn't go anywhere. Troubadour. You know what? I'm just gonna drink this potion of glibness and get them for free. Some allies, most of them, you can discard to explore again. So that's what I'm gonna do. Alright. Now, time to backstab. If you're the only character at a location, I can recharge to add stuff to my combat roll. I recharge you. Let's see. Throw a dagger at your head. Like, just loads of damage. Backstab a goblin. Surprise. It worked really well. All right. Well, there's still a chance that there's no bad guys at the farm whatsoever. So since this guy has some diplomacy bonus, he's going over here. Oh, just starting off with a goblin commando slapping me in the face. That's fine. I will stab him really, really hard. Recharge that. Okay, now check this out. If you have a blessing in your hand, you can discard him to explore again. Uh, almost never a bad idea. Like, you have to evaluate for yourself, but... If defeated, examine the top card of the deck and put it at the top or the bottom in this locked passage. Uh, yeah. I roll, I fail. It gets shuffled back in the deck. That's just how barriers do. This guy, much as I'd like to stay here. Oh, and I can't leave. Why can't I leave? Please let me leave. I guess I, I'm doing this. Alright. Maybe I'll get lucky. I got lucky! Yes, explore again. A crow. Hi, crows. Oh, didn't get it. But I can discard this guy to explore again. Detect evil. Getting lots of defined spells. None of them particularly good. Explore now. I think that was one of his bonuses. Like, if you find a spell, do a thing. Let's see. Before I act, wisdom check or discard a card. Got so many divine spells. Alright. Lightning touch. 
And I lost? Yeah. Charge this. Reduce combat damage. Discard this. Which is actually cast so that I don't actually do it. Hang on. It's a spell. Oh. It's if it's the top of my deck. Oh hey, the Santo. Follow for follow. Uh I can, yeah. I don't really think that works, but uh I'm I can do that. I'm small enough that it it actually would make an impact. I'm getting fairly close to affiliate. And it would be nice to make money doing this. see a pit trap yeah I failed probably shouldn't have attempted it I've fallen in a crevasse but I landed on my shield so I'm okay ambush It's a good thing I have these thieves tools. I pick the lock of the ambush. And then I use a burglar to get my lock picks back. That was so silly. Ooh, a blessing. Uh, a gecko. A sneak attack the gecko. I'm gonna throw darts at him. It was a giant gecko. Alright. Like, I, I imagine he could, you know, bite me fairly hard. Locked passage. We still here? Nope. I haven't a lot of luck, but luckily it just doesn't matter too much uh, in the first mission. Like, if it's your first time playing, you might lose. But if if you're at all experienced, it is not going to be difficult. I can put him to sleep. Yeah, that's just not good. Uh, recharge one, huh? Detect evil doesn't do me any good, so I'll get that out of my hand. And I'll zap him with magic missile. failed to recharge. Alright. Well, let's close this location. This time, yeah, I'm gonna discard. Make sure I close it extra hard. On closing, I may shuffle a spell from my discard into my hand. Nice. Uh, yeah. And then I can cast Stride to move me move me to where somebody else is. 
What are my stats like? I could do decent at a wisdom check, so... Going to stride... Oh. Dude. Can I change my mind? Can I stride here? Oh. I just cast stride on somebody else. Alright. Well, I misunderstood how that worked. It's fine. I don't have time to read. Yeah, and this might be the lock passage again, but... What I'm gonna do... Is heal me. That's what she's for. 